my name is Seasing, and I'll be covering an extensive list of pinch-related tech. A pinch in Destiny 2 is the concept of squishing yourself between two objects to be sent outwards in a direction. Sparrow pinches involve squishing yourself between a sparrow and terrain, resulting in you being launched. A basic demonstration of a pinch involves two people. Have your friend drive into you while your back is to a wall. This will pinch you against it, gaining you tons of momentum. Before we start, it's important to clear up a misconception. Flicks and pinches are separate things, with one often being attributed to the other. The once famous mad flick isn't actually a flick at all, as the momentum comes from being pinched between the ground and the sparrow, as opposed to being flung by your sparrow impacting you. An example of a flick is the classic side flick popularized many years ago. Your momentum comes from your sparrow's impact flinging you towards a direction. This is also the case with the slip flick, a technique involving dismounting outside of your sparrow while it's in motion, causing it to hit you and propel you forward. When going for ground pinches, a lot of people may hit a slip flick and think it was a pinch. The distinction between flicks and pinches is more or less semantics, but it never hurts to be educated. The first solo pinch I'll be going over is the drop pinch. To start, begin a sparrow fly upwards. I hop off after the fourth dodge, but it's not required, so long as you're getting off on an even number. Once you're at the apex of your sparrow fly, rotate your sparrow towards the other direction briefly and dismount towards that side. If done right, this will put you on the same level as your sparrow, allowing you to drift underneath it, setting you up for a pinch. To avoid dying, you can use a sword with a good guard, or the warlock snap glitch which will have an explanation in the description. Make sure you don't have a sword with eager edge out when doing this, as it'll halt your momentum in midair, resulting in you ending up above your sparrow. To take this one to the next level, I'll teach you the drop pinch variant. The first step is to gain a lot of height. Once adequately above the ground, summon your sparrow, and pull it back until it's pointing straight up. Pull it back slightly more just before it kicks you off, and you will be put behind your sparrow while it's falling. Drift slightly towards your sparrow, and you should land under it. Another method of doing the drop pinch variant involves flipping your sparrow while you're falling down. First, summon your sparrow high in the sky, and point it upwards. This time, don't pull back any further, simply let it kick you off. Now, all that's left is timing flipping your sparrow before you hit the ground. This will cause it to flip into you, resulting in extra momentum and style at the cost of more difficulty. The most recognized pinch, ground pinching, involves slipstreaming low to the ground, and hopping off in a way that has your sparrow land on you, pinching you between the ground. These are notoriously difficult, as the direction you're looking, the side you dismount off of, the speed of your sparrow, what moment you hop off, and more, all determine if you'll be pinched. The most stylish of pinches involves the beloved wall pinch, the idea behind it is slipstreaming into a wall, but dismounting between the sparrow and the wall so you get pinched and fly off. Although incredibly difficult, it can also be incredibly consistent. One of the easiest places to practice involve the red roof of Sistan, where you'll find a ramp that perfectly leads into a wall pinch. The best way to think of wall pinches is simply trying to slip flick as close to a wall as possible. Despite the cistern ramp being the go-to method, wall pinches can be done anywhere, and from any position, so long as it ultimately ends with you slipping into a wall. While these are your most essential pinches, a pinch can be started from just about anything. 
Some more comedic pinches involve using the explosion of a shatter dive to drop a sparrow onto someone, or the rift of a Vespa sending a sparrow towards you. If you're on a controller, the methods for doing all of these pinches are the exact same. May the cheeks of your partner never go unpinched again. If you would like more in-depth help in learning Sparrow-related tech, feel free to join the 4-Discord server.